hey y'all what's up and welcome back to the lauren alexis channel so in this week what <laughs> that just blew me start over hey y'all what's up welcome back to the lauren alexis channel i'm lauren if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe like this video give it a big thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias and turn your post notifications on turn your post notifications on because every time i make a video you need to know you need to know baby anyway y'all so this week um, i'm going to be going home i'm very excited to go back home to maryland and just be with my family um, for Thanksgiving, I'm about to eat so, so good, y'all. I've been getting weight, y'all. I feel like I gained a pound or two. So I'm going to be very mindful about what I put in my body this week. But I'm still going to eat good because Thanksgiving. I'm going to eat good for, you know, the natives. I'm going to eat good for everybody. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all. So I don't know why, but lately, I've been obsessed with Fenty skin. Y'all, look at how cakey and crazy my edges look. It's the end of the day, by the way. I looked so cute, neat, and clean and tidy when I woke up, but it's the end of the day, so who really cares? Anywho, I've been super obsessed with um, Fenty skin lately, and I like to put y'all on. I like when we're all doing the same thing, using the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, cute. Anyway, I've been trying, I really wanted to try their body scrub, and I wanted to try their cream. The price was absolutely crazy. Now, I'm not going to hold you. I love Fenty skin. I love the smell. I love the consistency. I love pretty much everything about it, but I don't love the price. But I understand, you know, why it's expensive. It's quality. It's good material in it. But today specifically, I had ran out of face wash and face cream. I don't really use the toner only because I don't really use toner on my skin too much. It's really like once a week, I'll probably put some toner on my face. So I didn't really want to buy the toner, but I just ended up getting this. And I put this in a vlog, like an old vlog, maybe it was a few videos ago. But it's the Remove It All Cleanser. I love this cleanser. It smells really good. And um, the consistency is good. I really like it. I'm just, and it's not heavy. I don't, I like a heavy duty cleanser after I just took off like a bunch of makeup. And I really want to make sure it's off my face. But other than that, I don't need no heavy duty cleanser. This is really lightweight, which I like. And then I um, just got the, I really needed this sunscreen broad spectrum. I really needed this like face cream. Like I, I really got used to it. I feel like my face got used to that um, cream and it has um, sunscreen in it, which I like. Um, so that's why I wanted to get it. But I just was annoyed because they didn't sell these. They weren't selling like this separately or this. So these two weren't being sold separately so i had to get the toner as well i'm like damn because i still have toner like that i haven't used from the last time i got the travel pack so i really don't want to get it again but the little sephora girl was like girl do not waste your money buy it this way because if i bought it like expense like if i bought it pretty much separately it'd be really expensive so i'm gonna just start using the toner because i don't want to waste it or maybe like when i hit 300 subscribers I'll probably buy a bunch of stuff from Sephora to give away, but I'll just include some toner that's never been used. Anyway, um, this is what I really wanted to show y'all. So I got the Fenty Skin Body Duo, and they also, they were selling the body scrub by itself, but they weren't selling the butter drop. That's what it's called. It's um like body cream, and I really wanted to try that. Um, So I was like, you know what? And the girl was like, um, if you really like want to save money, girl, do not buy them like separately like especially if it's since it's your first time using it just try to make sure you like it so i got this um what is this <laughs> i got the body cream and i got the body scrub and i'm about to take a shower so i'm gonna shower with it and i'm gonna just tell you guys what i think whether whether i think it's worth it whether i think you guys should buy it i'm just really excited i mean I'm, I, I was just so excited to shower i was like let me vlog this really quickly because I feel like, I don't know, enough people aren't talking about Fenty skin for me. I be slapping the shit on my chest, but a lot of people aren't talking about it enough. So, yeah. But, I'm about to take a shower. I just want to be fenty out. And if I do like this, then I'll commit and get the bigger one. And if I like this, I'll commit, commit and get the bigger one, too. I think, all together, like, for this and for this, all together, that was $78. So, imagine if I bought everything separately. Imagine how much that would be. Or just like, you know, the not to travel pack, the big pack. Imagine how that, how much that would be. It would be a lot of money. Which is cool. But I try to buy smart. 
because I live in New York now and I'm trying to get an apartment extremely expensive and I'm not trying to like you know live outside of my means so sometimes I just have to be on a budget sometimes I just you know have to do what I do anyway y'all I'm about to shower with it and yeah I'll let you guys know my thoughts and opinions I just look so crazy Ugh, I need to bathe anyway I've had a long day of working out doing cardio by walking around the mall sweating getting my nails done y'all isn't like getting ombre so annoying because like when you go and get a fill you got a ombre again he put a little chrome because i said uh mr sir mr nail tech i want my nails to look a little different he gonna add chrome i'm like do not put this on all my nails because it was just giving childish vibes for me so next time i get my nails i'm probably gonna have to get them taken off because ew but yeah let me go bathe and then we'll come back because damn i'm six minutes in like y'all i'm out the shower and let me just tell you 10 out of 10. the body cream mm, the body cream is so 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 good like it just feels really good it makes your skin feel really silky i don't know what hold the hell on i am not getting paid to talk about this but just know it's good the body scrub i will say doesn't um sud well but nothing that exfoliates suds well anyway but so it's like i feel like it works best if you use it like with a little bit of body wash and then a little bit of scrub because it doesn't exfoliate really well so you'd, you'd have to use a lot um but yeah it's a really good product dude i'm not getting paid to talk about this so yeah girl anyway but i just want to say this it's a lot of girls on my timeline on my twitter on my instagram talking about how danny lays a dumb bitch or whatever the case may be but i feel as though a lot of you bitches are dumb as well you know what i'm saying like i do not like when people judge other people and i especially hate when women judge other women because my thing is it's different for a nigga you know what i'm saying niggas niggas aren't forever gonna speak on bitch business that's just what they do but as a female you know how manipulative a man can be you know how destructive a man can be like you just know how men operate men think you've dealt with this so it's like it's really crazy to me and it's the hypocrites as well to watch bitches who have been dumber for less come at our situation at least the nigga's rich at least the baby is rich at least he's financially set you bitches be dumb for free like but y'all are dead y'all are dead fucking wrong. dead wrong and at the end of the day danny is rich as well so she's gonna be good y'all are gonna go back to y'all y'all be letting a nigga suck you dry and then you go back to being a broke bitch like a broke unhappy bitch like at least the bitch got money something like i'm just saying check yourself before you speak on the next bitch's situation you don't know how you would move um in that situation that's like y'all be dumb over broke niggas i you would probably the sense would lose your fucking body if the nigga was rich don't you think i'm just saying check yourself before you try to check the next bitch Slip that on and we might just defy Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty bag You know she wanna mind when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she know the choice Keep it coming, you a rider It's that roll myself a day and count my biggest shit It's that As you guys can see, I am back in Maryland right now and I'm about to go get my hair done. My hair doesn't look terrible, but it's just really greasy. It needs to be washed, styled. I need a new cut, a new cutter. I, I don't know when it got so cold, but it is cold, girl. So I need to put something really warm on. The only part is I know like when I get to the hair salon, I'm gonna be super hot. Like the blow dryers, the flat irons, everything's gonna make me super hot. So I need to find something to wear really quickly, but yeah. I love getting my hair done. I don't really love the process, but I love how it looks. I love how I feel. I was really trying to serve a look with my shoes that I ordered are lost. I don't know what's going on with FedEx, but they have to see me because they're wilding. Amazon is wilding, so I don't know. Why do I have a stain on my pajamas? Like These pajamas are so cute. But yeah, FedEx is wild. I'm just super annoyed. Like... And then I know like with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up, packages are probably going to be 
super delayed because of like the amount of orders that'll probably be like processed and stuff like that so let's pray my shoes come because i really want to get this look off it's so cute and i wanted to get it off while i'm here in maryland because as y'all know renee takes the best pictures of me like she takes the best pictures of me i do not have a photographer in new york like but we're gonna hope for the best um and yeah i'm gonna go get my hair done um and yeah maybe next time you guys see me i'll look like a person um but i'm super excited for thanksgiving i'm super excited to be back home i miss my family more than i ever thought i would like in life so H&M, Target, don't know, but they're just black leggings, Nike, Yeezy, which I hate to do, but this is, this is how you dress when you're from Maryland and you run like Aaron. Ugh, I be tapping into my suburban girl vibes. Oh, girl, girl. I would say I would, I want to like sit and chat, but I kind of want to listen to my music. Can you close? Hello. Can you close the garage door? So you don't know the code. Bye bye. That's how you. That's how you shut it down when someone tries to disrespect you. Girl, you heard me ask for something. Go do it. Kidding. I want to know what y'all's Thanksgiving plans are. What's what's y'all's favorite thing to eat? My family is Jamaican, so we don't really be eating like traditional fried chicken, collard greens type of things. We be having oxtail, curry from time to time, rice and peas. That's what I be eating, baby. I be eating that type of food for Thanksgiving. So, I really want to know what's y'all's thing. What do y'all eat? Um, And yeah, hopefully next time you guys see me, I look super crazy, sexy, cool. Worth the TLC. So excited. No, we ain't watching faces. Violate us, man, are catching cases. I was on the high road, armed and dangerous. Stepping in some runaway trainers. No introduction needed. Painting already know what my name is. And this year's only money I'm chasing. Two stories, I ain't got a lie in my racks. I was beside the feds with a nine on my lap. Got a look straight forward, tried to relax. I get pulled this time, it's a wrap. And I still get flashbacks to the cold nights in the trap. A man slept on the floor, no heat. I took them where I put the tea into me. On a first name basis, could the shopkeeper. And he already knows what I came for. Cling film and a ride beaner. Big smoke on the feature. Come a long way from drawers in a pouch. 13 scores in my mouth on the same line, trying to get all of it out. Real girlies know the curls will drop. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the Dominicans did not burn my hair out. I like this shot better than the one I go to in New York just because my hair be lasting longer, but I'd rather show y'all what my hair is looking like after the curls drop. Because right now it's giving temple, surely. What do you think, Ren? No comment. Right, anyway, so right now I'm on, I'm on the way to the airport to pick up some family. I think that's ringing. It's the one like that's near Virginia. I hate that. I hate that airport. If you're it's from the DMV, yo, that is the worst airport to go to. DCA is so retarded. Go to BWI if you can. But if you can't, good luck, Charlie. Good luck, Charlie. For the bird. They got three different terminals. I don't know where they're coming three from. Three different yeah, terminals. It's, it's just hella confusing. Like, it's oh, supposed to turn here. Fuck me. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we should turn off the camera. <laughs> Out of time. Don't you hate when Starbucks messes up your drink? Because you can look at this and this looks like a caramel frap. Ew, who's drinking those anymore? Yet yeah, this says a caramel ribbon crunch. The question is on everybody's mind, how we get out of here? I just want to know what is this? And I never get whipped cream on the top and they steady putting whipped cream on the top. Like that's why I can only go to three whipped cream. I mean three Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Three whipped cream. <laughs> I can only go to the Starbucks on Wall Street, the Starbucks on Broadway. 
and then the Starbucks close to NASA. Those are the only Starbucks that be getting my order right, and even sometimes they mess up. Like, stop putting whipped cream on people's stuff. I always, the only time they don't is when I say I'm severely allergic to whipped cream, and most of the time that adds <laughs> questions like, why, why are you able to drink milk or cream? Like, the light's hitting now all right guys crazy angle but i just want you guys to see me in the light because i kind of look a little god but right now oh my gosh i've been doing so horrible vlogging i've just been spending a lot of good quality time with my family but now we're going i believe maybe to the movies maybe to the mall maybe out to eat i don't really know but when y'all like got cousins y'all already know how that type of shit be y'all just kind of be going and doing what the fuck ever so yeah, can I can I get a Paloma, please? Thank you so much. Paloma Castro here. Throwing up the, the big L. What they do out there? Did they rip their set up? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In the Amish country, he used his ID. That sounds like what this. That? Yeah, we did. We can't go to the IG. Is there a bar? 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 Um, that bitch vibe. No. You know the vibe. 